welcome back to all the mods nine so there's a few things that we're going to have to potentially tackle with this and i want to thank you all again for your amazing comments they're always so nice and i always appreciate them so much so i didn't notice this at the time but a commenter definitely did and the slurry that will be going into these pipes is going to be an uneven amount and we will most likely notice some of these crystallizers having an unequal amount of slurry in each of the machines and then it's going to clog up once we reach a certain point of this pipe is empty and there might be like a half of a certain amount in here there might be a, a quarter of an amount in here there might be literally just one millibucket in here so we're going to have to try to resolve this problem and i'm unsure how to do that at the moment but we will do our best and i will think of the best way to handle this other than that though we do probably want to look into adjusting our power and also what we can do is have another great idea that was pointed out to me is the N energy trash can we've used trash cans before but we have not used an energy trash can before so we can go ahead and make one of these right make an energy trash can and we can connect it to one of our flux plugs and once we do that we can change its priority on or sorry a flux point we can change its energy priority to what was it 10 ah minus 10 so backwards so less priority so negative 10 so it has the least amount of priority here and we will change this limit to what we're actually producing in here so this thing doesn't get full and then we will put it on our output network what is this transfer limit unlimited so this is already sucking out power so it's going to eat up power uh we'll probably adjust this down there's there has to be a better way to do this than just eating all of the power yeah we're gonna have to do a, we're gonna have to think of a better way to do this point but this is something that we can use to drain some of the power maybe on this directly i need to think of the best way to do this we'll figure it out we will we will figure it out but for now we will just slowly drain the power out like this and hope that it works that way what's up howard how you doing buster you doing good cuz Okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear it, man. You're doing good work with that lead in your face. <laughs> okay, so we'll most likely want to increase our capacity here today. I think that would be a good idea. Um, like I mentioned before, I'm unsure where the power goes when we do that. Uh, but most likely, we just need to build out these blocks first, and then we can open it up and place them in there. That, that might be something that we that we take care of already and then we can focus on finding a better way to do these than just the chemical crystallizer because man that thing is unfortunately going to cause some problems if we don't figure out how to properly sort those chemicals out what's up clunkerton how you doing man you chilling over here you keeping stuff you keeping the furnace going yeah that's what i like to see man you doing good okay anyway 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 uh we need to make another interface for storing items which we're most likely going to want to move all of this completely all these interfaces because we're gonna most likely need a lot more i want to go ahead and go in here and put energy tablets in here um oh we can only store one i don't like that there has to be a better way oh we could probably just export it to a chest and then add the chest to a storage part in our network that's most likely something that we can do. There was also another recommendation. It was a crafter manager, which I've never made. Uh, crafting manager is going to be very useful because from what I've read, it will manage all of the crafters that are in our network and the specified patterns as well. So we can see all of our crafters in here, which is super freaking nice. So this is so freaking cool. I need to understand the functionality of this completely, but man, this is really, <laughs> really awesome. We're going to need another netherite crafter because look at that. We're already getting full there. So let's go ahead and also make, let's just make patterns. That was another thing somebody mentioned, like making more patterns. I do feel like I have a lot of patterns, but apparently I don't. Apparently I don't have many patterns at all. Um, and apparently we're going to need a lot more. Do I have metal casings being made? I do not. So let's also do metal casings as well. Um, no, we don't want the dark stone. Cut that out and we will grab granite because we can make granite. There we go. 
So now we have those two and we'll check these in here. And now we want to grab another crafter, uh, the iron crafter. We'll do this. We also know how to make chests and then we'll do the gold crafter. And then we will upgrade that to the diamond crafter. And then we'll go to the netherite crafter. All right. Now we have every single crafter and these can be auto crafted. So let's go to here, the right crafter, and we should be good to make one of these. Yeah, we are very nice. So that will craft. Now we already have it. Beautiful. We didn't have to go through that whole freaking process of making that. And I'm going to, oh man, I need my pickaxe. There we go. I'm going to move this, another right crafter here so we can manage that. And then we'll come over here. And then we'll place the crafter manager here so it can manage our crafters. And now we have, oh, look at that. It filled, it just put the netherite crafter together. Okay, because this is a separate crafter. This is all the modium furnace. We can have that many patterns in there. Basic compressing factory, basic infusing factory. And since we have three of them, these are all being seen. Oh, okay. And if we put a pattern in here, then it can manage all of them properly, I think. Is that how that works? A oh, pulverizer, we have none. Why do we have no patterns in the pulverizer? We should have some in there. Um, I know they're down there. I don't I don't know why it's not reading properly. Uh for that anyway. We are we are out of brine here. I'm glad we noticed that. So we are our brine production is struggling yet again. And is this does can I make this hotter? Produce even more? We're producing a thousand and eighty millibuckets per tick now. Uh, but that's not going to always be the case. Are we able to catch up now? No, we're getting drained away faster than we can manage, which is very unfortunate. Maybe we need to put a better exporter on here, actually, or importer. Let's make let's make the best importer we can, which we also most likely want to get this out uh, crafted as well. Let's break this, and we will upgrade this to that. Oh no, we're gonna need to make a ton of these, and two. Now we need to craft this, and then we can craft this one. All right, let's do the mega importer on here, and we'll do fluids. All right, that should drain it very, 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 very fast. Let's see if we even need speeds in there. I hope not. I hope it just pulls insanely quickly. Now we're going to need to put some speeds on there, unfortunately. This also might not be the best way to do this. We might need different types of pipes to pipe it into our network. Instead of doing the RF there, we might need to just make a fluid storage block and put fluids into it. Let's see, fluid, because we can make the fluid tank and maybe we drain directly from this here. Then we go here. Oh, this must have something. This must have some NBT data. Can this go even higher? No, it can't. This can only hold 256 fluid, but maybe this is the best way to do this. And then we need the infinite, pipe what is it we need the infinity pipe upgrade oh we need to go get unobtainium but we also need atm stars as well hmm okay that's uh we're gonna most likely have to go mining again and finally go get <laughs> unobtainium that's okay we'll do that at some point and let's grab a fluid pipe um so we need to probably move this and we'll do this instead so hopefully there might be a better way to store fluids then mechanism fluid pipes. Let me see, fluid storage. Is there a better way to store fluids? There's fluid storage blocks. Let's search fluid and see what we can find. Oh, there's mechanism fluid tanks. Block fluid storage. Interesting, so functional can store fluids? Can a drawer store fluids? I need to see this. I must be being silly here. Ah, oh, that's, that's a bucket though. Um. Whoops. Um, where'd my bucket go? Oh no! Where's my bucket? Give me my brine back. I need that. Oh, my bucket's in there. Whoops. Okay, so clearly that was silly. Uh, but it does say that it increases fluid. Oh, here we go. Fluid drawer. So it does store fluids. Okay. This is what we might need to do. And this has a large range, right? We should be able to do this. And then we can pipe how much we're, we probably don't have much brine so let's go ahead and we're gonna drop some fluid in there we need these and we will lock it and that's in range right then we will link this so 
hopefully all of the brine will go into there upgrade now we need these upgrades damn we're gonna need to make a bunch of things unfortunately this means we won't have well no this would be a buffer i think how many can we hold now 885,000 buckets worth so now if we check our system but can can it export from there we have no brine oh because it's all sitting in the system i'm silly well that's fine so this will work right this will output all of the buckets now we need to check this on and hopefully this can keep up with the rest of our system uh with our rest of our exporting uh we need to make sure the brine's getting outputted where's the brine going right here so it's not outputting brine you are you not on the network it's linked you're in the network yeah it's got brine huh our fluid grid can't see the brine why is that do i need to change this extract only did that work no our system can't still can't see brine interesting hmm how how to resolve this um or is it because of the external storage being items ah that's why okay well now i know yeah items and fluids okay so i need to be able to also do external storage for fluids so this needs to be on extract only i believe and then we do this then we need a cable here right like that and then we can do extract only for fluids okay it is getting drained damn holy crap we used so much so we still can't produce a produce enough brine and we have the best pipe upgrade that we can have on here which is 10,000 millibuckets per tick and we still can't keep up with that much brine so we're gonna need another one maybe how far can we push this one system we have height 18 maybe we raise this even more um we can also dump more power into it let's see twenty-five thousand. how much are we producing now no we're still only producing 1080 so we've reached the cap for the height and the heat okay so we need thermal evaporation blocks we need a bunch of these then all right let do this then need my wand do i have my wand am i blind i don't see it i do not see it where's my infinity wand man i don't know where it went so i'm just gonna build another one i hope that's enough um you're not made anymore why is that what is wrong with you is it too tall is it too tall now is it too tall hey come on it must be too tall i don't know why this isn't working anymore let me check mechanism okay all right so we did max it out so it can only be that tall this tall it can only be that tall um okay then it can only produce 10.8 millibuckets so which means we can lower this power down so let's lower this down to 5k and it's still maxed all right this is pushing as fast as it can oh we need to add that upgrade in whoopsies so push that now this thing is getting drained as fast as possible so our bottleneck is our thermal evaporation plant interesting okay well let's fix that all right this is now powered on its own so let's go and do this and that now we need to break this block here and put it back down and then we will add it back to the network like that there we go okay thermal evaporation plant well let's spread this out by one i guess was that four by four four by four and let's go ahead we're gonna need to make the interfaces for this for the thermal evaporation we need a controller here and we're gonna need two valves um i clearly don't know how to make a valve oh it's much more simple okay 
we'll do a valve here then we'll also do a valve on the back oh we're gonna need we're gonna need three valves so we'll do a valve there we're gonna need to move these cables as well oh whoops i just broke the exporter damn it and i don't remember what was on there i think it was uh another scrap or what was it no it wasn't that damn it enriched gold gets put into there oh it was it was dirty uh ancient debris it was ancient debris that's what it was so ancient debris into here we'll do a stack upgrade on that i think i already had one yep i did okay well i remembered nice so let's come back here with this bam okay we're gonna need another resistive heater let's go ahead and make one of these is it down like that and we'll just put a flux point on it i'll put and we'll do five thousand all right this is gonna take 5k so let's do 5k now we're gonna need the thermodynamic pipe uh oh whoopsies break that in that so here i'm gonna place this here and then the point right here 5,000. There we go. That'll eventually go into there. Then we're going to put the controller right here. Now we need another valve. Now we're going to need another sink. We always need the sink. The sink here. And then we need a tube. One of these. And then we need the configurator. All right. Now we can build this thing. Okay, this is already working. So now... We can take this uh, fluid pipe, which we don't have any more of. So let's make some more. We can do this and then that. Now we need to make an upgrade. We already have this one. So let's go ahead and just make it another upgrade. And should be it. And we still, well, we can't keep up because of this size. So let's hope that we can once we build it up. Oh, we need some more. There we go. As tall as we can get it. Not enough room in output. Okay. Because we didn't fix this. So let's do this. And then that. Can we keep up now? We still cannot. Doesn't look like it. Even with two maxed out as much as we can. Is there other ways to get brine? Gaseous brine. From salt. You telling me I gotta use friggin' Greg deck for that? What else can I do to get brine? I would like to know please just that or we do gaseous brine which we can do mechanism salt which is a salt block and salt what in the hell how do you get salt man <laughs> i don't like this so mechanism salt fermented or meat this is wrong that's salt man how the frick do you get a salt block then and you get it this way too i'm just going in circles now you get saltpeter dust a rock crusher and then you cr crush salt ore to get salt peter dust I'm just trying to find how to get salt man and do salt peter dust okay so you can do salt peter seeds but that gives you this salt peter which then you get tiny pile of salt peter dust which can then be crafted into salt peter dust and then I can't do what I want to do with it. Dang it. I'm going to have to look into this. Saltpeter dust. Oh, the whole Greg Tech process also makes it. Damn, what a process. Okay, I'm going to have to look into that at some point. Um, but it looks like our brine output is not great. Yeah. And we're at a slowdown here because of the hydrogen chloride. Curse you, brine. Maybe we can slow this one down. We don't need that. We don't need as much lithium maybe right now. So maybe I take this one off and we'll just do an elite exporter. Still have my brine bucket. I do not. <laughs> gonna have to go get one. Bucket. Give me the give me the brine. Come on, I need a bucket of it. Oh, I just have to go to the system, I guess. It won't let me take it out of there. Well, shoot. Just need a bucket of this, thank you. I always gotta keep the brine bucket on me. Bam, go. Are we okay now? Mm, not really. How much does this one need? Oh yeah, you're still very much so chilling. 
Is that evened out? Okay. You're holding. I don't need to mess with you. Is this holding? No, you're slowly getting drained. Because we are outputting so much sulfur dust. We're slowly filling up with fissile fuel. Ah, it's because of our importer here with the sulfur dust. And what are we using the sulfur dust for again? Is it over here? Yeah, we're exporting it here. Are we still net positive on this? We're about even, it looks like. Okay, so we're holding we're holding steady with the sulfur dust. So we just kind of have to leave it like it is. But this is going to run out now, right? Yeah, this is going to run out. So unfortunately, we do have to put this back in. And then that means we have to also put this one back in. So we can hold steady. There we go. Then this should pump up. And this will fill up as well. Damn, we're using so much brine. And we could also slow the system down. Yeah, this isn't even producing. Okay, so this is filling back up slowly. And then once it's full, maybe we'll start using less and less brine. But wow, we maxed these two out and we can't produce enough. We're producing two buckets per tick. And it's not enough for our system. Which is crazy, man. That is crazy. Yeah, so... We're behind because of the hydrogen uh, chloride here. Let's see if we take one out. Okay, so if we take one out of there, this is holding. Okay, you're holding. Yep, taking one speed out of here. I mean, it's going to be a little slower on the uptake, but that's okay. All right, well, still very, very, very low on brine, but hopefully... Slowing that down will help us out there. We also slowed this one down quite a bit as well. It is slowly draining out of brine. How much are you at right now? 2.5k. We have so much lithium getting cooked over here into lithium dust. How much do we have? 28.1k. All right. And what I was going to do. Um, so let's go back. Let's backtrack a bit. And let's talk about what I was going to do for the energy tablets. Because we're going to need a ton of those, right? So we need a way to store those. And I want to see if this is possible. What I'm thinking of. Do I, did I have a luck buff? Lucky! Uh, so let's go to the drawers. I want to see if what I'm thinking is possible. Do we have energy tablet in here? Because if I put it on my person, it's going to uh, cause some issues. So we need to put an exporter on this. Let's just drop this here. I need cables. Man, I haven't used that air pressurizing system in a long time. <laughs> but I'm glad I was able to make it and automate it. That's cool. So we're going to go into here, search energy tablet. Let's do this. See if it'll store these. It'll store up to 32. So I want to see. Okay, the way that we can do this is if I add a stack upgrade to this, it'll always craft them. Or sorry, an up, just a regular upgrade. Do we have any of those? I need to pin this again, I guess, at the top. There we go. So I want to see how many this will increase it by. 256. Okay. What if we replace that? 768 so let's do another one of these how many will it have if i put two in here so this whole endeavor did not work out for me i did not think this through but after considering it during the editing process i definitely know how to solve this all i need to do is hook up a crafter and put it next to one of these one of the drawers and then when i put it next to the drawer and if I hook it up to the external network, then we will always see the energy tablets. Then we can make the crafter output energy tablets and just have it fill up the drawer as we need them. So unfortunately, I didn't figure that out here. So I'm just going to skip the 20 minutes of me trying to figure this out. <laughs> All right, you're storing a tablet. Um... <laughs> I locked it. Get, get hacked. Okay, so now I need to break this. Is it doing that thing again? Maybe I just need to make a crafting pattern and do it. I don't think this is gonna work exactly how I want it to, unfortunately. So, but I should have, do I have the energy tablet up here? I do not. We can check the crafting monitor. I do not, okay. Well, now I can at least search my patterns. That's good. So, oh, it might've been because we didn't have the pattern in here to be able to make it. Maybe that's what it was. Uh. I'm going to have to think about this and see if there's a potential better alternative for this problem that I'm trying to solve here. But for now, 
let's go ahead and get everything that we need auto crafting for the induction cells and such so let's go ahead and do this and then we also need to do this one as well and then we need to go up to this level and then we need to go up to the next level and then we'll also set up the next level which is actually insane okay let's do that 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 now we need the other one uh, i believe we need these as well so we did the cells now we need providers we need this and then we're gonna need the next level of provider and then we'll go up and do this oh we're out of patterns that one and then this one we need a pattern to make patterns that's what we need right now so we'll toss the pattern to make patterns in there i don't know why we haven't done that yet there we go now we need to tell down i want to tell this down here to hold patterns as well for us but we gonna need them so let's always hold 64 patterns there we go now we will always have patterns prepped and ready to go oh dang what do you think is going to happen, Mr. Pattern? That's right. I'm going to put an exporter on you so you always have stuff. So, oh man, this looks horrible now because we've uh, kept adding things to it. So let's put an exporter on. Then we need a cable. Good old cables. And I'm going to export patterns. So it will fill up with patterns, hopefully. I hope that's how that works. Hey, don't shut the door in my face. Is that how it's going to work? No, it, it's exporting it to the wrong spot. No! It doesn't work! It only imports it to the bottom spot. Oh, well. Dang it. Well, shoot. Let's just put them in here myself. Oh, man. Okay, there we go. Oh, whoa, 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 what? No. What are you doing? Okay, there we go. Now we have some patterns. Okay, so those are all done ski. Let's see. Uh, craftables. Oh, we need to tell it how to make the other cubes. Well, shoot. All right, I think that's it. We'll toss those in there. And now we will do the thing. We will go into here and we will craft six of these of the induction cells. And then we'll set three induction providers. Ooh, we're actually missing osmium. Interesting. We're going to run out of osmium. Oh, machine. Yeah, there's so much slurry in here. Uh, uranium is actually going down. It says copper in it. I don't like that. There's so much copper in it, actually. Um, well, let's tell the osmium to go in first. Let's put the osmium there. We'll just leave this. We'll just leave this be while it does its thing. Because it's going to have to go through all of this slurry. It'll slowly tick down and go through that. This is holding out still. And yeah, so we had to slow this one down so this one could go at full speed. Maybe we also slow this one down too. Yeah, let's just slow those ones down and these ones will finish. That's fine. This is fine. So hopefully when this, when this pipe here gets full... We will start using less brine over here. How's this one? You're about as full as you can be, and you're slowly using brine. If you're full, you're cooking. We're always getting sulfur output. That's good. Getting lithium. And we're going to be out of osmium. That's crazy. Uh, what I might do is grab a few of these blocks. Can we toss these into the crusher? Because the crushing factory gives a certain amount, right? Oh, the enrichment chamber does. Okay, so we can toss these into here and we'll get some osmium out. Um, oh, whoops. I put it in the wrong line. Well, shoot. We'll just come over here and just do this. So at least we'll get some multiplication on our blocks. Just won't be as much as it could be. Oh, this is what I changed. So let's put this on here. Let's put the dust on there. We'll put extract, extract, and this will hopefully keep that full. And let's put an importer on here, and we'll do whitelist, osmium dust. I need to make a stack upgrade, so this thing can pull out stacks. There we go. Now we have some osmium coming through, um, and that should be enough to do the three that we were gonna do. 
So let's go back into here and this is the induction providers. Go. How's our crafting process? Ooh, -wee. this is going to take a long time of uh, processing these out and this steel as well. That's a lot of stuff. It's crazy. This is going to take a long, long time. Okay. How do we resolve this problem with the uneven amounts of slurry? I'm going to go and try to look that up. because I don't know of any other solution. What does this do? Okay, I'm going to have to look through this and see if it'll work. I will be right back filtering okay so essentially this is its own mini programming language all right let's look through here and see what we can do slurry okay so in here i need to do slurry but i also need to do some logic so uh what's the side i need to look at the examples here i need to see the slots and sides input from a top west side I need to look at the if statements. Okay, so if not, if not, crystallizer has slurry. Is that, and then how, how do you end your if statements? Oh, with then, so this is like, this is like uh, Lua. Okay, three inventories labeled A. A, stone, five stone, A, 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 A. Output, 1,000 to each mechanical chemical crystallizer is we should be able to do an end here maybe this will work and we should be able to break all of these uh cables here or actually first we need to do this this and then break this one and then break these ones see if my programming worked so then uh we can mismatch expecting has slots hold on a minute i need to check this these errors line three it's mismatched input uh expecting has has slots round top bottom north east southwest oh does it need to be caps it's line three hmm am i doing this wrong i'm trying to do a catch all the can i not do catch-alls with that oh do i need to do has greater than zero so it has greater than zero is that correct if not if the chemical crystallizer does not have zero slurry oh has less than or equal to zero slurry so that that would be the logical way to put that let's see expecting number string i need to see an example freaking script or something Simple. Every 26 do on their own input statements do nothing. There is no item from. There is no item buffer. All the magic happens here. Let me spread these out real quick. So every 20 ticks do. If not, am I doing this wrong? If not, this source right here has some slurry, then output 1000 to each. I must be being silly here. Oh, um, this is so weird. Expecting if from to. Is that correct? What line is that? That's line 30. No, that's line five. One, two, three, four, five. Input slurry. Uh, shoot. Each of these is completely out of slurry, um, but this has a weird amount of slurry left. It has 13,368, so we lost some slurry. We must have. No. Damn it, now this is going to go through. At least those are even amounts. Okay. Um, shoot. So I have 
the slurry at least done properly, but input colon expecting mismatched input input slurry. It should be a catch all. It should be a wild card, right? And we have slurry. Yeah, no, this should be correct. Input slurry from this mechanism, basic chemical tank. No, I didn't want to. Oh man. I just reset my whole program. Rip every 20 ticks do input from what am I doing wrong? I need to know. This is annoying. Okay, I think I got it. I believe it. So what I was thinking for this part was that you had to put the actual machine name, but these are essentially labels. So variables, right? So I can make this whatever I want um, for these variables. So from a chemical tank and to crystallizer, these essentially have no value right now. And then what I can do is I can go and I can crouch and right click to pull the labels and then I can hold crouch and then I can scroll through the labels and then I can name what they are. So crystallizer, then I can name all of these crystallizers here like so. And then I can push the labels. So now label is assigned, but not connected by cables. So now I need to connect the pressurized tubes to the factory manager and this says it's running, but what we want to do is, oh, yeah, we need to redo the chemical tank here. So let's do, how do you unlabel something like that? Okay, let me label chemical tank, push the labels, and then we need this to be connected by cables. Let's see, super. Okay, now we need cables, inventory cables. Is that what it's talking about? Oh, do we need the whole thing connected by cables? Um, so do this and then we need to make the inventory cables connected like this and then do all of these. Uh, this is something that's completely brand new to me, so I'm just going to try it out so now all those are connected and then we do that are these getting so they're connected and but none of them are getting slurry input slurry from chemical tank if not crystallizer has if it doesn't have slurry then output 200 slurry to crystallizer round robin by block do i need to tell it what side okay how can I do side config? Let's view slots and sides. Input from top west side slots zero. What? Input from that. Oh, I have to pick a direction. So this is west. Okay. So west. And then this is going to be the north side. Is that going to work? Mismatch if expecting side. Hmm. Oh, okay. West side. North side. Are you going to do it? Because you can see this as the front side. You're all connected. Mismatched round expecting else end. Uh, I don't know where to put this. Hmm. Am I chasing down a horrible idea? Oh, so there's an issue in my logic. There's an issue in my logic here. Okay. So if I, what I can do is if chemical tank has greater than 
200 slurry then input then I can do an end here so if it has greater than 200 now we can do an else else input slurry from tank okay how many do we have we have 1800 or we have nine chemical uh, crystallizers so we need to have at least 1800 slurry right because that would mean that every single one runs we're just going to do a catch-all here we're going to lose some slurry but that's okay so we're going to do 1800 and we're going to make sure that we have at least 1800 slurry to do what we want but if we don't then we're going to, to do this and we're going to do output all can we do all slurry to trash can south side end all right so we'll remove this check here and I, I will go over what i'm doing here um once i'm done i just want to get this part finished so that should run now all right trash can is used in the code so now we need trash can oh this can void liquids and gases okay so now we can do this and now we need to pull the labels and now we need to name this trash can so now it should be now. Oh, do we need... We'd probably need an inventory block. Inventory cable. So let's remove that. And we'll just... No, we can't put it there because it'll be on the thing. So right here. Then it's going to be the... So we did north side for that. So this will be the south side. Let's label that. Let's push the labels. And then we can do south side. Yep. Okay, so... It's going to do, it's going to make sure it has some for every single one. Now we can probably change this to if it doesn't have at least 200. So now we can do 200 slurry. And if it doesn't have 200 slurry output, can we do exact uh, limits? Oh, shit. No. I just overwrote my code. Damn it. Oh no. Um dude. I just overwrote all that. Damn it. Well, now I need to check the recording to see what I wrote cuz I don't want to rewrite that. Okay, 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 okay. So, let's go back in here. Let's get rid of all of this. Every 20 ticks do and i'll go ahead and explain what this is um now that i'm having to rewrite it so we're saying if every chemical tank that we have so there's going to be that one chemical tank so what we label as the chemical tank has more than 200 slurry of any type then we're going to allow the system to take input of the slurry from the chemical tank and it's west side because we have that set to output what this essentially is doing is it's not actually holding the gas or the slurry what it's doing is it's allowing it's preparing to allow anything to take that item as an output it's not actual storage then what we're doing is we're going to tell it to output 200 slurry to each crystallizer that we label on the north side okay but if there's not 200 slurry, which is else, if there's not 200 slurry, then we're going to input the slurry from the chemical tank. I could also probably just do one, uh, one input line above, but I'm just going to do it, do it like this to break it down. We're going to input from there and then we're going to output if it'll let me show. Oh my goodness. Stop it. Output slurry to the trash can that we have there so that's gonna work now we need to push the labels oh we didn't do our end we need to do two ends so end here so we can end the if statement and now we're gonna end the loop so now this should work and do its thing there could be there could be a logic issue i don't 
know how much actually is output from each one of these let me check if it'll tell me so one block is six thousand okay six thousand would mean that we could comfortably have six of these chambers here and we wouldn't have to worry about math too much uh because with 1800 each that's going to leave some left over but how much um clean slurry is given so one millibucket gives one millibucket okay so it, it will be an even amount of slurry each time i think this should work i think our catch all should work here i'm hoping i'm hoping this works this was something completely different i did not know that this existed at all there's probably a much better and more elegant solution for this but i'm gonna stick to what i built here because i think it is pretty damn cool because we got to mess with some kind of lua like language <laughs> so that was pretty neat i really i really do hope that this works out that would be super cool to me and it looks like this goes every second so our timing is perfect with the every 20 ticks so we can just leave this all right it looks like it's working it's gonna be slowly behind because it does have to do some extra logic every 20 ticks but this simple script here should do the trick i'm i really hope if it has or equal to we'll do greater than or equal to 200 slurry um this is where we could run into a logic issue because if it has greater than 200 it's going to try to output 200 uh so we might have to do a logic check again here this is where we're gonna run yeah like i mentioned this is where we're gonna run into logic checks we probably need to do a for loop here yeah for each crystallizer let me see if we can do that i'm gonna go ahead and copy this and i'm gonna put it somewhere else so if i do any edits here it's not gonna mess up so for each can i do a for loop here Mm, that's not gonna work what the hell it overrode our freaking code again so we're, we're just gonna do this we're gonna lose some slurry um but if it has greater than 1800 we'll go ahead and do this but if not then we'll just output the rest this should allow us to never run into any bottlenecks but we are gonna throw out some slurry but that should be fine I'd rather throw out a little bit than run into an issue. And the reason that only checking for 200 might cause an issue, say there's like 230 in there. I don't know how exact this will be. Um, since we're saying output 200 slurry, it might say, okay, I can output 200, but it might not do a check if there's 200 to output. That's why I wanted to do a loop here to say for each crystallizer check if there's enough then output it uh but i don't know enough about their custom language here to do that if this was a python i could definitely do it but this isn't python this is a custom version of something that's very similar to lua so we'll just leave this here this should definitely do what we need it to do i'm going to go ahead and copy this as well and just throw it into here this script should absolutely do what we have and then what we can do is we can also just write it into here We'll just do that and we'll probably build another one on top of this one just to keep this one safe but man we're gonna lose so much gold slurry if we do that now we're just gonna really freaking suck but what we could do as well is disconnect these and keep we might be able to do that so if we disconnect these all of these we can pull from the cable instead so we do that so all those are disconnected. This is going to continue to fill up with gold. Then we can set up another factory manager on this one and do the same thing. So we're going to need more inventory cables for this. Oh man, we're out of black dye. Man, this is why I love modded Minecraft though. There's so many freaking mods. There's so many solutions for one thing. So now what we can do for this one, these are going to be our chemical tanks in, in this script. So we can do this, but we don't have to remove these pipes like we did on the other one. Since we have so much slurry in there and we don't want to lose any of it, we can do that. And now we just need to come on top of this one like this. These are going to 
Oh, these are running behind. Oh, it's because this thing's running behind. Duh. Because we need more freaking brine. All right, so now we can do we can do this, right? We have this set up here. So then what we can do is we can place our factory manager here. And we're going to do this and we're going to edit this code. Now we need to tell this to take from the north side because that's where the, the uh, blocks are on top of. Or sorry, not the north side, the top. And then we're going to input into the top side of these as well. Now we also need to do the same thing with the trash can. So we need a fluid trash can again because this says it can take liquids and gases. Do we have to change that option? Liquid trash can. Uh, don't, I don't know. What we'll do is we'll do this. Then we need to place that. And then this is the east side. So we'll come into the script here and we will say, I'll put to trash can east side. Oh, which means we didn't do a side on this one, which is also it's because this is the west side, right? Yeah. So east side, east side i hope that works we also might be able to just move the side thing off let me see if we can do this all right now we need to take the label hold the labels now let's see if we can do this oh shit chemical tank all of those and then we need to do crystallizer all of these Okay, now we need to do trash can, this one, and then push the labels. Does that work? Do we have to tell it aside? Looks like we do have to tell it aside. Okay, unless it just can't pull from these. We'll see. After we put the code in. We might not be able to pull from the cables, which means we're going to have to do the chemical tank, which we already have one, but we're going to go ahead and pin that. We'll do this. We'll do that. Okay. Now we need this, and then we need to do flurries output out of the top. Now we need to take those off, do chemical tank on this one, and do top side. This is running now. Now we should be able to tell this to do the top side. And hopefully this works. Slurries output. And then you take input from everything. Right? Yes, you do. You're running e to each crystallizer. Oh, I need to push the labels. There we go. Okay, so this works with the chemical tank. All right, perfect. So we solved this problem too uh, the same way except we just had to build it a little bit different because we didn't want to lose 9 million millibuckets of gold. Uh, but yeah, we've, we completely, I think we completely solved the issue of these getting overloaded. This is definitely not the way that I expected to do this. I didn't expect to have to write some, some code for this, but it resolves the problem. Now the only main issue we're having is our brine storage, which the salt thing is probably what we want to try to do in order to mitigate the brine loss let's actually see if we have any surplus now i thought i just saw some yeah we do we have surplus brine now sweet we are on top of the brine at the moment uh i think i think we're good here you're producing at eight times speed oh because we needed that for both of these Oh man, yeah, we're just going to leave this how it is so we can continue to be on top of the brine because I think if we increase think if we increase these machines, we're going to start running out. Let's see. So we're we're sitting at a solid number here. Let's go ahead and increase this one. And see if we start decreasing more than we can fill up. We need to watch this thing here. You're staying full. The brine is staying full. And how are you doing? Okay, we're still solid, but I think that's only because we have one of these kicking off at full speed. Uh, we probably can't, we probably can't raise the other one, um, because it'll probably fall behind. 
Yasmin is going through. The gold is going through. These things, sh the logic that we built should catch any problems that we run into. Hopefully, I hope that my my logic there is good. I've never messed with this mod at all. I didn't even know this mod was a thing. So I really hope that it does work because I think it's pretty damn cool that we can do some scripting uh, in order to solve that issue. Man, we really are going to have to solve our brine problem. So I think salt is going to be in our future. Regardless, we solved the problem and I'm super, super happy about that. Uh, we are in the middle of crafting these induction cells here but they are going to take quite some time it looks like oh actually we are almost done i'm going to go ahead and wait on these and because i want to get these installed before we head over this is going to take some time but it looks like most of the stuff we already have completed so let's just uh sit here and wait shall we And it is done. They have finished. Oh my gosh. Would you just look at them? Look at those things in there. Look at those juicy little blocks in there. You see those? Can you believe this? Look at these. Look at these. We did it. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. Is, is Are things going to blow up? Please don't blow up. Okay, it didn't blow up immediately. Um. Yeah! It didn't blow up! Let's go! Something spawned over there with a backpack in our farm. But wow, look at that. We can store so much now. We can store a trillion. Okay, so let's, uh... Let's turn this off then for now. We can store a ton of power now. We are gonna be chilling for a bit. Wowzers, dude. Holy crap. That is so much power. Yes, we're not we're still not producing a million, but we can store nine billion. That's insane. Actually, or is that trillion? Cause it's yeah, KMGT. Yeah, this is trillion. Oh man, we can almost store 10 trillion power. Yeah, because this is 119. Am I, am I getting that right? Yeah, billion. This is 119 billion. Yeah, because it goes KM. Yeah, because these are storing millions. 157 million power. Yep. Wow, we can store 9 trillion power. Holy crap, dude. What? That's insane. That is insane to me. But I think I'm definitely going to call it here. This process right here used so much brain power to figure out. Not the coding itself, but just figuring out exactly how it all worked. So I hope... That you all understand what this is doing i hope going over the code at least uh, made it a bit more understandable you have to place these inventory cables along what you're trying to affect with the factory manager and the script here if you're not much of a programmer that's okay i hope that i explain this at least in a way that you can understand and feel free feel free to use this as well uh if you run into this kind of problem too I want to thank you guys so much for watching, as always. I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you guys in the next one, where hopefully we fix that damn brine problem. <laughs> Goodbye. And thank you all so much for subbing. We are so close to a thousand. This is actually so insane to me. I want to thank you all so much for subscribing and continuing to keep up with the series. I'm loving it so much, and I hope you guys are too. Okay, goodbye for real this time.